I just want to begin with, a, again, a scripture <clears throat> and then a prayer, uh, which I did last time, and we got to hear uh, Levi's sweet, sweet prayer. This is uh, just uh, Psalm 16, and I want to read verses 5 through 9. And it says this, talking about the Lord being our portion, and he is. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. The lines are fallen unto me in pleasant places. Yea, I have a goodly inherit heritage. I will bless the Lord who hath given me counsel. My, my inward parts also instruct me in the night seasons, meaning when it's dark. Um, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. <clears throat> and this, just like last week, the portion of scripture that I read definitely was quoted in the New Testament. It was something that applied to Jesus. But we have to remember that instead of taking all the scriptures and trying to get them to apply to us so that we would have comfort, we can have comfort in knowing these apply to Jesus and Jesus is in us and that this is the way that the Father views us in oneness with his Son and uh, therefore it applies to us because we're in him, we are found, we're not lost, we're found, but we're not just found by salvation, we're found in him. <clears throat> anyway, so I'd like to just <clears throat> read a little prayer in closing and if you want to just bow our heads, you can feel free to do that. Oh Lord, I have tasted your goodness, and it has both satisfied me and made me more thirsty for more. I long to be filled with longing. I thirst to be made more thirsty. Show me your glory that I may really and truly know you. Begin in mercy a new work of love within me. Say to my soul, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. Then give me grace to rise up from the places where I have wandered. Give an increase of Jesus, and I will continually rise to you.